Hey guys, this is Amaziz and it is tech time. Today I'm going to show you how to do enums and how to use them inside main and to pass them to functions and how you can how they can be useful. So let's go ahead and start our tutorial by going to Visual Studio, press on start and go to Microsoft Visual Studio. Let's go ahead and start that. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new project, file new project and let's go ahead and make an empty and number seven I'm going to call it enum example let's go ahead and make a, a main a cpp file by going to add new item and then going to c++ file and let's name it main so now we have started our main file so let's go ahead and create our skeleton by including io stream there it is and using namespace std which is a standard and void main or main right in here and system pause so I'm going to use a very very simple example in here so I make it simple for you to understand uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask the user for a number between 1 and 3 and see what they um, input it and we output the output for them so let's go ahead and make an integer because we need to input from them a number in integer num equals zero and let's go ahead and ask them to input something please input a number between between one two three and let's see in that input num so we've inputted this number so we gotta see what they've inputted so let's go ahead and do a switch statement rather than if uh, switch is very simple and easy and you can just look at it here and understand it but if you don't understand it and if you've never seen it before I've made a tutorial for it so you can just go ahead and look at that so let's go ahead and continue uh, switch the num let's check the num so case it is number one we will do something and case is number two and case is number three I haven't written any code right in here yet because I want to show you how we can use the enum right here so let's go ahead and create our enum the enum is always under using namespace std right before the functions prototypes and right above main because you want to pass them and I will show you why in a second let's go ahead and create our enum enum that's the first thing you do is just, just like string and you give it a variable name the variable name will be um, number choice let's call it number choice and to initialize it you don't do equals and continue no equals you just do open bracket do a number and I'm going to do them capitalized because in programming uh, the people who program behind you if you write it in capital letters, they will know it's either an enum or a um, global variable, which is a um, constant. So it's one of the two, and it makes it easier for your teacher to grade. So it's going to do one, two, three, error. We have contained four things in it and put the semicolon right in here. Now you're done. You've initialized it, no equals right in here. Open and close brackets, semicolon. You give it a variable name. If you stand over it, it would say enum, number choice, and you call enum right in here. You don't need to include any libraries in here. It's just in the IO stream library. Now I'll let you on a little secret that teachers sometimes don't tell you about to avoid any problems with it so that you understand it the right way. But if you hover over error, you would see that enum, num, choice, colon, colon, error equal to three. And the first one is zero, so zero, right in here zero one two three and you can actually do a loop to go through them but don't do that don't ever do that the reason for them is to uh, use them rather than say one two three and create integers you need to use them instead which makes more sense so to explain what I was talking about is in here so in case number in case the user entered a number one we will do number choice equal one now that is wrong 
would, but it is what the most common person would do. It won't let you do that. The reason for that is if you stand over to do expect, expected and identifier, the num choice needs to be identified inside main as a new thing. So you need to do this number choice. You call number choice as if it's a, a, a whole thing by its own, just like integer, just like string, you call it like by itself. And then you give it a variable name. The variable name is let's call it choice. And we can initialize it just like we do right in here. There's an equal, there's an equal here, and you call it one of the products that it owns, which is let's say initialize it to an error. So it now we called uh, number choice, which is right in here. It's just like integer or string, and then you give it a variable name just like you do with integer, and you initialize it just like you do with integers. It's nothing different. So in here we call choice rather than number choice you play with this choice you play with a variable name just like you do with integers you play with num you don't call int you don't do c and int you see in num that's different so now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do the rest of them let's go ahead and do a break right in here and let's do another one right in here choice choice would be equal to 2 and we would do a break and same thing right in here choice equal to 3 and let's go ahead and do a break now we checked if they enter a 1, a 2, a 3 and we assign them which choice it is but what if they enter anything else so we can do a default uh, and the choice would be an error and there is no need for a break because we will stop right in here now we've done this but it won't display anything to us and I will show you that because there is no display right in here we just assigned choices so I was going to go debug start without debugging it will ask us for a number now please input a number between 1 and 3 right in here and then it will store the number and put 2 and just does please, please um, press any can, uh, key to continue so it's going to close it so now we need to do output so we do another switch statement just because switch is easy you can do if but if is too long so let's go ahead and switch through the choice and see what the choice is right now so case choice is a 1 then let's go ahead and see out you've entered number one and let's break so uh, otherwise if case is two then see out you've entered number two and break again then you do case it's a three and you do see out you've entered number three and the default you need to break in here the default is if it's none of those it's an error so see out you've entered a number other than one two three and there's no need for a break so let's go ahead and put an end line right in here to separate them let's go ahead and copy that code and do one right in here too. So now we will run this code and do uh, start without debugging and we'll see how, what happens. So let's go ahead and input number two. You've entered number two right in here. It, ju it just tells us. So let's go ahead and enter and I will show you what happened line by line. So let's go ahead and put a dot right in here, a dot right in here, a dot right in here and press F5 or this button right in here start debugging so let's go ahead and make this smaller actually drag it on the side and let's show you so let's go ahead and press F10 now num is 0 choice is garbage right now F10 choice is initialized to an error see how please input a number between 1 and 3 it will display right in here num is 0 right now now it will ask us for a number so let's go ahead and put number three let's say and now num is three so in here to check cases one no cases two no cases three yes it will go to line 27 right under it 
which it did right now there's the arrow and to do choice now choice is an error it will equal it to three now choice is a three if you stand over it and it will break now it would do an end line right in here and it would do switch choice choice is a three right now so choice one no choice two no choice three okay so it goes right in number 47 you've entered number three it will display it right in here here it is and you do a break uh, by the way I'm going through the lines by pressing this thing in the middle step over which is F10 so it's going to press F10 it breaks see out end line system pause right in here and it is done so it's going to stop it by clicking this square all right now I've showed you how to do it inside main what but what if you want to do it inside a function so let's go ahead and create a function and the function would be right under main so let's go ahead and do a void function and give it a name and um, let's call it um, okay process num let's call it process num and let's open and close it and let's open and close parentheses right here so what we're gonna do is we we will do this code right inside the function so let's go ahead and do cut right click cut and take off the extra spaces and let's go ahead and post it right in here uh, paste it my bad paste right in here now we have it but now we have another error we don't have num and we don't have choice so we have to pass it so we will create an integer call it num put a comma it won't give us an error right in here but we need to pass choice now how do we pass choice if you st stand over choice right in here it will tell you number choice choice you need to do it just like you did it inside main you need to recall it right in here just like you did integer num you need to do number choice and you give it a name choice or you can give it um, function choice let's give it a different name and let's copy that and uh, paste it right in here on all of them so now we've changed it now we don't have any errors but now we need to call it so let's go ahead and call it right in here right under the input so it's going to do process num we give we give it num and we give it choice like we do right in here and close it uh, of course we're passing back a function choice because we're we're giving it uh, something we're assigning it so to pass it back to main remember that we had to do an end sign and because the function is right under main we need to copy the first head of it and paste it right under the enum remember what I told you right in here you have to pass it right under the enum so you can see it so the the uh, the code would go right down and it sees that there is an enum and then it can assign it right in here otherwise you will have a few issues so make sure that enum is right above the functions so now we're gonna do the same thing with this switch statement so let's go ahead and cut it which is control x and let's go ahead and make another function void uh, display num and let's open and close it let's uh, be, be post it right here and let's do there is no num so we just create um, an enum and you do it just like in here uh, number choice which is the name that you called it right in here inside and then you give it a name let's call it choice it doesn't matter because it's different than what is in main and we gave it a name in here choice we don't need to pass it back because we're not passing anything back we're just testing it so this is enough we can copy the first line and do it as a prototype right in here and then we can call it inside uh, inside main so let's go ahead and call it display num open parenthesis and pass choice to it when you pass it remember what I did uh, about functions I've done a tutorial on this so if you have any problems with it just go ahead and watch it and this will be very easy to you uh, you pass choice right in here to the functions it doesn't have to do anything with these with these choices right in here you have to pass the one that's made in main so let's go ahead and run it and do control f5 or debug start without debugging and now we have the code now let's input number one and you've entered number one let's close it let's run it again and let's input number two here it is you've entered number two 
let's run it again and let's do number three and here it is you've entered number three and let's enter six million which is six zero 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 and you've entered a number other than one two three so here you go this code is working just fine i will run it uh, with you in just a second right in here put a dot here put a dot here and put a dot right in here so f5 and let's go ahead and put this on the side and drag this on the side to show you let's go ahead and do f10 and f10 f10 there's it and it asks us for a number so it's going to do two and it will go to process num it will go inside it here it is here's the arrow it would do switch now num is two because we passed it and it will go to two function is now function is now an error but now it's going to be two it is a two right now it breaks see how the end line it goes out now here's the arrow it will go down to display num and it will go right in here here it is and choice is two so one two right in here goes to line 60 you've entered number two display it right here break get out do an end line and pause the system right here and you can close it right away by pressing the square maximize it and we can copy this um, end line and paste it right in here in the function just to make sure that we use uh, less amount of code right inside um, main that's the point of functions and just to um, revise on all this and give you another summary the enum when you make it you have to make it right under namespace on top of everything so everyone can see it and function just right you just call enum just like you call string you give it a variable name and then you initialize it to what contains whatever you want it to contain and you don't do an equals right in here when you call it inside main or inside a function you would do number choice which is the name that you gave it in here just like you do integer or string or double or float or whatever and then you gave it you give it a variable name just like you did in here you can initialize it by doing equal to something or in the functions you can do equal to something one two whatever it contains and to display it you can do it this way you do another switch statement switching in choice the variable name that you gave it and you see what's in it or you can just do this output right in here but in case that you have a long code you don't want to do that every time so you do this switch statement at the end to display everything which makes it much easier but the choice is yours I choose to do a switch because when you have a long code which will be in your homeworks you will choose to do this once you don't have to do it again and again and again everywhere so um, I hope this made sense to you and if you have any questions or struggling with anything Go ahead and ask me on my YouTube, YouTube channel or go to our website indiedevelopment.co.com in the forums in C++ you can subscribe to the question to the question that you ask and you'll get uh, the email right away once one of us responds and I uh, hope uh, I've helped and thank you for watching.